Hello, hello, and welcome to another wonderful, exciting episode of Sudos Takes Videos of Random Things with your host, Sudos, of course. Now, a couple of people have commented in on previous videos saying that now they at least know what color my table is. And no, I'm not actually using a table for my uh, stuff when I'm outside. I'm actually using what's left of uh, my deck here. Uh, this is where the pool once was, right here. I'm standing where the pool once was in this pile of sand here. The absence of money has prevented us from uh, doing anything about it. There's a line of decking here that stops here and then it switches direction. We are able to, because there is uh, support beams underneath this structure here, we are able to go right ahead and make the necessary cuts where needed and put the railing through over here and get rid of all of this because this was all the support decking all the way up to the end for the pool. We can get rid of that and make this an enclosed deck and have that. But money, where are we going to get the money? So without further ado, let's get on to the subject of today's, ep uh, well, today's little uh, video of random stuff and uh, by now, you've pretty much guessed what it could be, because you've already seen parts of it while I'm shaking my phone around. Yes, I'm taking this video with my Lumia today, mostly because I can't find the 16 gig SD card for my Sony, and I can't find the 16 gig card that I have for the Sanyo. I think it's a Sanyo. Is it a Sanyo or a Panasonic? Oh, hell if I remember. The, the red camera. The red camera that I used with the last the last video, yeah. That I used to take video of the cameras. Yeah. So, this is an Apple product. Yes. You're thinking to yourself, oh, is it a MacBook? Could it be? Is it? No, it's not a MacBook. This is an aluminum 15-inch PowerBook G4. I got this about about a month ago, excuse the wind, uh, and I pretty much got it for the cost of free. I did have to give up my Titanium PowerBook G4 500 for it, as well as my 17-inch uh, aluminum G4, which did not work. I had tried ovening the board, and that failed. Ooh, a truck is going by. That is a big truck. It is a container truck. For a container service, I will not uh, name. So. So I did have to give up two power books for this. Uh, now, my titanium power book, the, the, the TI book, the 500, it kind of needed a hell of a lot of work and I had it off to the side thinking that I was going to do something with it never got to it what it needed was a new fan because that had died it needed a new logic board because the RAM slot the one RAM slot had really just kind of died and I wasn't really quite sure as to why um, it needed a new battery the optical drive was dead and the LCD was pretty much crap. Not cracked. Crap. As in crapola. So. Yeah. I, I mean. I got rid of it. I, I, I jumped on this. The LCD was crap. But it still produced a picture. And that's good for a replacement part. And that's what was really the entire thing here was to just use it as a replacement part, that sort of a thing. So, the way that I acquired this was, I have a friend that lives uh, so near, so far away from me, I won't exactly say how far, and uh, it turns out that he does uh, scrap metal in his garage. This is his business now, because he got into a... Uh, uh, well, into an accident, and he broke his back. And uh, 
He is currently paralyzed from the waist down. Well, now the butt down because he can feel his butt again, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, so, he calls me over one day, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and says, Hey, I've got a couple boxes you should take a look at. Now, I said to him that I was looking for Apple products, in particular, older Macs, classic Macs. Um, anything beige, anything black power books, anything like that. And uh, there were three boxes, and one of them was completely full of iBook G4s, 12.1, 14-inch, and yeah, just 12.1 and 14-inch models. And uh, they were from all walks of life, 933 megahertz on the way, all the way up. Some of them were 733, I think, uh, but only a couple. And, uh, I looked through all of those, and, ooh, excuse me, where did that yawn come from? It's like every single video, I gotta yawn about something. So, um, yeah, uh, I looked through all of those, made sure a whole bunch of those turned on, and not all of them did, and it was pretty obvious as to why, because most of them were, uh, opened up to get to the hard drive. So... I looked inside, they had the hard drive mount, the hardware and stuff in there. I said, okay, it's probably because the keyboard got disconnected, the power button's connected to the keyboard on most of these, yada yada. So we went on through, and the next box had aluminum power books in it. 12.1 inch, 15 inch, and there was one 17 inch which didn't look too happy. The 12.1 inches were pretty much all destroyed, getting the hard drives out of them, so they weren't even worth uh, trying to get to turn on. Uh, the 15 inches pretty okay. I was able to get a couple to turn on, but not so much. And the 17 inches, I was not able to get a single one to turn on until the very end. Now, I picked this one up out of the third box. This one seemed to be a standard high-end power book. I booted it up with uh, a Leopard install disk that was included with all of them, and I saw 1.67. Okay, it's a it's a later model power book. Okay, that's great. Whew. That yawn again. That's all fun and games. So I put it off to the side. I said, okay, I'll give you my two power books for this one because I need a working power book. And I got this and a power cord out of it. Great. Drop it in the car. A uh, guy comes by, buys all the 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 rest of them. Boom, gone. So I'm home, I plug in the hard drive from my power, my TI PowerBook into this, and it turns out, no, it's not only a 1.67 gigahertz model, I require flash, but, you see that right there? You see what it says? If it focuses, you might be able to. See what that says? 2 gigs of DDR2 SD RAM. You know what that means? Okay, for those of you that have not caught on yet as to what kind of a power book this is, this is the last 15-inch power book that was ever sold. This is the last model. They included DDR2 as an upgrade option because at that point they were getting ready to move everybody up over to the MacBooks. At that point... These were the fastest G4s they had uh, pretty much released. Um, and I think this was because the G5s were too hot. Yeah. The G5s were too hot to put in these things. They put a G5 into a Mac Mini and they named it like a, a cup warmer or something. So, uh, yeah, I ended up with a the highest end uh, G4, the highest end, uh, uh, memory spec for these, with max out on RAM already, and I, all I had to do was drop in a hard drive. Now, I did upgrade this to 10.5, and then the hard drive died. Thankfully, I made a backup the night before, in case something went wonky, so I was able to drop this, install onto another 80 gig drive, and here I am today. 
Um, can I bring the brightness up anymore? Yes, I can. There we go. That's a whole lot better. Yeah. Uh, CPU is idling at a toasty 25 degrees Celsius right now. And I can't do speed tests on here because I do not have Camino open. I have 10.4 Fox. Just, this is 10.4 Fox 31. Uh, of course it's not a valid protocol. Give me speed test. I don't know what Kiseju is. What? Oh, that's right. I tried doing a search for something before. That's what it was. Because 104 Fox doesn't do flash anymore. So we're going to wait for it to do its thing there. Okay, we'll come back to that. So I've got all of the amenities that I've had from my other power book in here. I've got, well, you can't see it, but I've got uh, iTerm, so I can hook that up, and there's a command thing, and I've got Fink installed. So well, it's an old ver it's an old install of Fink. So I've got builds of like IR, IRC, IRC, IRSSI, IRC, however you want to say it. Uh, I've got an old build of that, an old build of screen, a whole old builds of everything. So I've got to figure out how to get that fixed and get that all set out and done. Um, and I'm not sure how to go about it. I found one that's called Tiger Brew, but that involves me removing my entire SW folder from uh, the root of my uh, hard drive and reinstalling everything from scratch because I would have to re-recompile, which is good because I originally re uh, compiled these on a 7400 and I need to compile them on a 7450 or 7457, whatever the frig these are. I think it's like a 7447, 7457E is what they said they were. So I've got to get that all figured out. Um, yeah, oh, you can see the raindrops are coming through that's just uh offshoot from the trees it's just what droplets from the trees it's not actually raining out right now so it's uh getting to be about that time let's go back down here to uh where are you camino that's what i'm getting over here my router is over up and over there about good 10 20 feet that way so that's not too bad that's all I need for this anyway. This is 802.11g, by the way. Uh, the older power book said 802.11b. This power book cannot boot 9. I don't think it can boot OS 9. It can boot OS 10.4.2 onward. Which is all I need. I don't need anything else than 10.4.11. 10.5 did run pretty good on this, though, so I may reinvestigate that later on. I'll do another backup, and I'll just reinvestigate that. Um, aside from that, I've also got all of my uh, iTunes files. I've got Office uh, 2008 installed here. Uh, what else we got in here? Photoshop CS3, Unreal Tournament, and MacTubes, which is the YouTube viewer for old Macs. So, if I wanted to go in here, and I looked up... Uh, look up my username in the search, I would get all of my... Uh, I'd also get a whole bunch of related results as well. From... Such people, such as UXW Bill, and other people here. Um, okay. Author. One, two, three, poop here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. We'll just go down the list here and go down to... I don't see any, but... We'll just use that as an example here, because it's here.
So I'm getting that from YouTube. And let's see. Aha. So I can. I can get other things, and I can get all of my videos, but I have to put in my uh, YouTube link, youtube.com slash my old username to this. I really want to change that. That is the most horrible username ever, and it gets me so much spam in my comments box. You have no idea. So, I'm going to do sounds from my uh, little Radio Shack thing. It just works like that. Um, this version of MacTube is actually from 2012, and it still works, so I guess YouTube is okay with it. I really wish that YouTube would look into this, just, just something like this a little bit more for some of these older Macs that can still do 360p, 480p YouTube videos just fine. But they'd have to have a desktop client of some some kind, and this would be it. I would love it if there was a desktop client for these older PowerPC Macs. And YouTube and Google will never, ever do that. But I'm sure that some API stuff could be uh, worked in there with the YouTube mobile uh, website and stuff. So, it's only a matter of time. But thank you to whoever it is that made MacTubes. Thank you so much. I, I love it love it so much so it's like ooh. oh and if you're watching this you're probably watching it on October 22nd 2014 and October 2nd 2014 is International Caps Lock Day aka Billy Mays Day. So don't forget to type all of your comments in caps lock. Because that's the right thing to do. Have a good one.